This video will help explain what it means to serve documents. This is the first of three videos from Legal Aid Ontario. This video will help explain what steps are involved in serving documents. After watching this video, you should be able to know who receives the served documents and under what circumstances, know where to look to find out the timelines and deadlines for serving documents, and understand what an affidavit of service is, also called Form 6B, how to complete one, and how to get a commissioner to sign it. What does it mean to serve documents? Serving court documents or service is when you arrange to give a copy of all the documents in your case to the other person in your case, who is known as the other party. If there is more than one opposing party, you have to serve each one individually. In a court case, you must make sure that the other party in the case gets a copy of your documents because the law requires you to do this. You have to do this because the other party has a right to know about a case that has been started against them, to respond to claims made against them, and to make their own claims. It is your responsibility to do this, not the court's. Serving is a very important step in your court case. Unless you do this, your case may not proceed. Let's talk about the process for serving documents. The first step is to arrange to get copies of all the documents you're filing at court to give to the other party or to the lawyer that is representing them, if they have one. To do this, you may also have to find someone else to serve the documents, and you'll need to find out all the contact information for the other party or their lawyer. There are several types of service, and you'll need to determine which type you should use. Depending on what kind of court documents you have, you might have to get someone else to serve the documents. Please watch our video on Types of Service for more information. It's important to make sure you give the other party only a copy of your documents, not the originals. You give the original documents to the court. After copies of the documents have been served, the person who served the documents needs to prove to the court that they arranged and completed proper service of the documents to the other party. This requires an Affidavit of Service, or Form 6B of the Family Law Rules of the Ontario Court Forms. This is available online or at the courthouse. This is the form that tells the court how, when, and where the documents were served, and by who. The person serving the documents, whether that is you or someone else, is called the server, and must sign this form under oath or solemn affirmation, promising the court that they are being truthful. The Affidavit of Service needs to be signed in front of a Commissioner of Oaths. In Ontario, you can also do this in front of a lawyer. For family law matters, you can usually find a Commissioner of Oaths at the courthouse. This is important. It isn't enough that you have the documents served. The person who served the documents must sign an affidavit of service to prove that it was done. We'll talk about this affidavit more in the third video of this series. Once the affidavit of service is signed, it goes into the file for your court case, which is called a continuing record, along with the originals of the documents that were served. When you serve documents, the other party has access to all the information you will be providing to the court. This includes your address and contact information. If this is information you don't want the other party to know, or if there is any risk to your personal safety when serving documents, you should get legal advice about how you can serve documents safely. That might mean having someone else serve documents, or giving a different address on your forms where you can still get mail. You may also want to consider putting a friend's phone number on the forms. Let the court staff know and they may be able to help arrange service. A legal professional can also help you with this. There are some limited exceptions to serving documents, though they are rare. You will need to check with a lawyer to know if this applies to your situation. If you want to learn more, the Ontario Family Law Rules set out the different types of service, as well as information about timelines and other requirements. Visit the Legal Aid Ontario website for a more detailed how-to guide. This video should not be considered to be a substitute for legal advice. 
you should talk to a lawyer or legal professional about your situation.